What is up? Matthew Nomori here with another Space Jump reaction. Today we're going to listen to the new GTA EP, Death of Genres, Volume 3. Miami-based duo, GTA, consisting of Jules and Matthew Van Toth, has been around for seven or eight years at this point. They've had many of great collaborations with Diplo. I was a big fan of their debut album that came out in 2016, Good Times Ahead. Really big fan of the Vince Staples song. Really big fan of the I Am Zoo song. Any time where GTA really went ahead and blended genres with other artists that could sort of ride a more dancey sort of electronic beat. I was a big fan of Death Two Genres Volume 1 when it first came out in 2015. I was a huge fan of the Break Your Neck song with Valentino Khan, To What We Tell Them, featuring, I think, Wiwick? Not Wookie, it was definitely Wiwick. Wiwick? Can I not sound like a first grader when I say Wiwick? I've never actually said that out loud before, it's so weird. And I thought the song with TGR, Mike Check, was a great party song. Really rambunctious, very catchy. And that's really what Death of Genres for me is all about. These really catchy dance bangers that can be played at either house party or some of the biggest festivals in the world. And today we got the Death of Genres Volume 3 EP, which has four tracks on it. Already on the track listing, I see a song with Anna Luno, so that's going to be interesting. Bauer song, so we're going to get some trap. Demon Hendrix, so we're going to get some more, some house. So we're going to get all sorts of goodies here. That's your John's Volume 3, first reaction, let's go. <laughs> The first song is I Can't Hold On, featuring Anna Leno, Dylan Francis, and Wax Motif. Hopefully it's not too bloated. I wonder if we're going to get Mimitone, Dylan Francis, or we're going to get G House, Wax Motif. Looks like something very dancey. Oh shit, that's super smooth. Actually, it's very hyper housey. Some that Anna Leno would replay. I'm trying to hear the Dylan Francis, but maybe he'll be in the second drop, more prevalent. But the bass line is super smooth. Okay, I see you, GTA. Really low key for a four producer song, to be honest. First song's a little underwhelming. Like, I understand that, you know, they don't make the. Anna Luno and Wax Motif aren't the people to make necessarily the most hype and crazy song. I still don't quite understand why Dylan Francis, on top of everyone else, had to be in this song. It just seemed very low key. Definitely didn't expect a song quite like this on a Death to Genres EP. But that's why it's called Death to Genres. Next up is Money featuring Zach from Fiddler. A little Jungle Terra. This is like old school rock, UK rock. No clue what to expect right now. Damn, this is like silly and fun. Little break. Oh, about to get a double drop. I noticed that the Detru genres have very little melodic breakdowns. It's really just bangers. Oh, I like the Gal Galaga sample. Super cute. All right, I want to turn this up, but I don't want to wake my roommates. That's that's super cool. It's so minimal. I didn't expect it to be. It sounds fire. Something so minimal, it really does sound fire. I don't really know what to make about the vocal performance and some of the interlude stylings. It, I'm like not too familiar with old rock, but it sounded it sounded from some old, old ass rock music. But other than that, first couple drops are okay. I like the last drop, it was just a very minimal, almost like a trap lead, but 
and like 130 BPM song, really cool. Next up is Step It Up featuring Bauer, Big Mac with, I don't think this is the Big Mac. This is another Big Mac. And then TT the Artist, who's a vocalist. Why you I was about to do whack in a good way, like good wacky. Oh, we're going back to 2014 on this. Trap Nation. This guy sounds like Waka. I have a feeling I know how this trap's gonna go. I'll oh, give him that double drop, baby. Big in Coachella. Okay, okay. Ooh, I love the breakdown. Oh, that's hot. That came in so effortlessly. Yeah, classic, classic, GTA classic Bauer. Super high energy. We're gonna leave that one for the festivals. I don't know if I can, that's maybe one level two ham for anything other than the big festivals. Like I don't know if I could play this while I'm doing homework or at the gym. And I like to play some pretty hard music when I'm doing that stuff. It's a little too turnt. Excited to see them play this like EDC and stuff. Uh, last song is Dumb, no, Dun Dun, featuring Damon Hendrix. Ooh, shit. Big fan of Damon Hendrix, house music. Will it be a vocal drop? It's a chance. Wow, this sounds just like that Tiesa song, Boom. But I like it a lot more, actually. Oh, this is unexpected. What's going on? I like the percussion in this more than the, the Tiesta one. And it doesn't have Gucci Mane on it. So, it's also better in that way. I like Gucci, I just don't like when people pay him 150 racks to throw a verse together on your dance song. Ooh. That little extra stank on the end. Oh, that's exactly what this needed. It's hard to hate. I just don't understand why Dun Dun and Boom exist when you have Deep Down Low, which is the craziest chopped up vocal drop period. Do I like this one more than Boom? Yes. Should I be comparing just that song? Probably not. Really funky, I loved that last drop. Changed things up, didn't expect it. Especially someone that's heard songs like these before. Overall, a little underwhelming. I was hoping for four tracks we would get our money's worth per se. I knew Ditch of Genres Volume 1 was seven songs. And that probably had like three or four that I really liked. So I was hoping that this would also have that kind of deal. I'll definitely keep listening to the Anna Luno song and see if it catches because that's probably the more melodic song I can have to digest. Step it up, go into the turn up playlist. That'll be a fun track to see. I'm interested to see how Dun Dun will perform, see if that catches. I don't think anything's really grabbing me right now at this moment. But what did you guys think about it? Did you think Dutch Genesis 3 
How does it compare to the first two? If you have any ideas of any new music I should react to, feel free to comment below. If you like the video, like and subscribe. This has been the Death to Genres Volume 3 First Reaction. I'll see you guys next time. Damn.